Hey, this is Craig Brown from the Brooke Hancock Jefferson Metropolitan Planning Commission. And I am in downtown Fallensby with Monica at Moe's on Main. You guys don't know this, or maybe you do, but I am in, at this very moment, the Fallensby Chamber of Commerce's Business of the Year. I'm pretty excited about this. I mean, I found out about it literally 20 minutes ago, yes. and I'm already here. I'm really excited. So, I can tell. <laughs> what was your reaction when you received this honor? Um, we were a little shocked. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, we haven't hit our, like, this will be our fifth year. So, of course, with it being, you know, not even our five years being here to right. get that honor, it was, it was amazing to us. Like, so we were very, very, very thankful. And, of course, because what we do is bring small businesses in here. So it made even more sense because we were promoting more small businesses with our business. So this is a craft-ish store. Correct. Crafty, very, very crafty place. It smells yes. absolutely unbelievable. It does. It smells just like Christmas as soon as mm -hmm. I walked in here. So I was really taken aback by that. It's an incredibly amazing smell. It's, it's really cool. Um, so you have crafts in here. You also, so it's consignment. So yes. people have like their own, so it's kind of like an antique consignment way, but for crafts. But for crafts. And, and we very do a little bit different than a lot of the craft stores. Like most craft stores will give you a section and say, here, fill this section. We've decided to keep Christmas with Christmas, Easter with Easter, so like items stay together. So when you're shopping, I know when I shop, if I'm looking for jewelry, I want to only look in one spot. So that's what we do here. So everything's in, a, in together. So I have multiple people in one section if they sell the same stuff. That totally makes sense. Now, how many vendors sell gnome-related things? Because there's a lot of gnomes here <laughs> for some reason. I didn't know Fallen's be such a big um, gnome following. Yeah, we have about three different gnome makers, I think, now. We did have four, but we're up to, we're only down to three now. Wow. Um, but yeah, the gnomes, even the craft classes right now, the gnomes are huge. So the hot thing is uh, gnomes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you said craft classes. And I know that you mentioned on Facebook that your craft classes are incredibly popular. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I was almost like, do I want to go do a craft right <laughs> now? But I was like, I didn't want to embarrass myself. Tell, tell me about the craft classes. How does that work? How did you get into that? So we were trying to find ways to bring people into the store when we first opened, being small town, small area. How do you get the word out? Um, and so one of the things was if we have craft classes and bring people in, then they get to see what you have in the store and shop while doing something crafty. So we do canvas painting classes. We do glass etching. We've done crochet. Um, tonight's a paint pouring class. We do wood painting. Um, a little bit of everything, and we offer private parties. So, like upcoming, I have a private um, birthday party for kids. So, oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, how did things go through COVID nineteen? I mean, you can't have classes here during a pandemic. So, I mean, did, I mean, obviously, you guys are doing okay. I mean, this is a yeah. beautiful spot. You got tons of traffic here on Main Street, Fallensby. Um, I've seen the sign. I mean, it, and it's a different looking building. It really stands out. So, you're obviously surviving COVID nineteen. What did the experience do for so, you guys? La so 2020 was actually one of our um, best years and mainly because people were online. So yeah. I would do live videos of what we have and people would say, set that aside for me, set that aside for me, I'll come in and pick it up. Wow. Um, we also have three, four consigners who did sewing and sewed masks. So that was a big push. Um, our The gentleman who brings us our Amish baked goods started Amish um, picking up all the vegetables and the produce. So we actually right. did produce at that same time also. So that brought in a lot of people. We did craft kits. So the kids were all home. What do you do with your kids while you're home? We had kits where they took them home and they could paint them at home. So we tried to make our business fit what was happening. So you were resilient and you adapted to the challenges by uh, following the rules and just doing whatever you could to kind of just keep going. Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you at one point, um, the mask sales, um, we would have lists of, do you want it for a male or a female? We couldn't even choose prints. It was that. Like, we were just trying to get them out as fast as right. we could in whatever print we could get them out in. So I'm just going to assume that the hot item as uh, COVID and the variants keep going will be no themed masks, obviously, yes. moving forward. And we, we do have those. Like, every season, I have the same people walk in going, what masks do you have for this season? So, like, right now, Valentine's oh. is out and St. Patrick's is out. So, yeah. Nothing says love like a uh, part yeah, mask. Yeah, yeah, yes. definitely. So, well, this is fantastic. I, I hope that we can do something to kind of get the word out about what's going on yeah. here. And thanks for talking to no us. No problem. And, uh, nice to meet you. you. No, the pleasure's all mine. So <laughs> if you want to tell everybody out there a little bit more about how to reach you if they have yeah. any questions. We're on Facebook under Mo's on Main, and that's Mo's with an E, not, not M-O, apostrophe S, it's M-O, E apostrophe S. We're at 1031 Main Street. I always say if you want to remember our address, think about Halloween. It's 1031. 
Um, and we're between the fire station and the post office. We're open six days a week, so there's always a chance to stop by and see us. How cool. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.